everybody, welcome again to Dance Papi, your source for dance, for percussion, anything that has to do with Latin music like that, if you want to learn it. I, you know, I have to check these dancers out. They're fantastic dancers. I have to check some of those steps and get my, my part up to. Now, uh, I want to immediately say that we're in the middle of this pandemic and I don't have the mask on. I have it in my pocket, but I don't have it on because my producer right here is within distance. He's wearing his mask and uh, I really didn't want to put the, this video sounding a little muffled with my mouth and having this microphone, etc. But uh, we're, you know, we're staying attending to the regulations because, you know, we really will want to get everybody healthy and going on. One of the ways to get healthy and happy is to learn new rhythms. Today I'm going to be teaching you the Mozambique. Mozambique is one of the most fun rhythms there is in the Tumbadora. And all that is due to the great creativity of Pedro Izquierdo, better known as Peyo El Afrocan, may he rest in peace, which I had the pleasure to meet him in person in Cuba, in one of my trips, him and his brother. I don't remember his brother's name, but my apology about that. But, um, and also I want to send a shout to his son, who is actually also online and teaching Mozambique and keeping the tradition of his father. And um, so let's talk about the Mozambique. Mozambique was a rhythm that was developed in the early 60s. You know, I read a few places, you know, around 63 or so. I was only three years old when this rhythm was already swinging and happening in the island of Cuba. It combines elements of comparsa, elements of rumba, and of other traditional rhythms from the island of Cuba. And the original intention for Pedro Izquierdo, Peyo, El Afrocan was to create a rhythm with a lot of percussionists. We are very thankful or, or, or fortunate to have a lot of material on YouTube of his band playing this. There's a lot of videos out and you can see the splendor of this. This was a, a carnival form that turned into a stage form and, you know, he was an incredible showman, uh, a lot of dancers, etc. So check, check Mozambique the Cuban style Mozambique. Um, first, I'm going to teach you the New York style Mozambique. The influence of Mozambique in Cuba transcend to New York City, and uh, a person like Eddie Palmieri, the master of the piano from Puerto Rico, he started in exploring with the Mozambique from Cuba and creating a different version uh, for New York. Um, so, because the New York version, in essence, is a little simpler than the Cuban counterpart, I'm going to start with that version for you. So, this is the New York style Mozambique, played in two drums. I'm going to first play it at a little bit of an upper tempo speed, and then I'm going to proceed, as I always do, to break it down very slowly for you. So, here we go. One, two, three, four. fun or what? It's one of my favorite rhythms and it's one of my favorite rhythms to play and to teach. Um, I'm going to start right on one and I'm putting the one on my left hand here and the one is an open tone. So follow that, we're going to do a slap on the quarter note right after that, which is beat two, and that's going to be with the left hand as well. So your first motion is going to be this, one and two and three and very slow. One and two and three and. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and. That is tone with the left, followed by a slap, tone on the low drum, and then left, right tones. One, two, three, four. Left, left, right, left, right. What that brings us to the count, two, 
One and two and three and four and one and two and three and. This is the end of three, three and. Follow, with, follow that, we're gonna do three slaps. And those are open slaps. If you remember the techniques of the slaps, uh, there was a press, a regular slap, press slap, and the open slap. A ringy, ringy, flat, with a hand, flat hand, open the slaps, right? So I'm doing the slaps right, right, left. Mm -hmm. And I'll explain to you in a second why I'm choosing that coordination, because I also could go right, left, right, obviously. But I'm choosing purposely right, right, left, because I'm gonna have to be on the low drum immediately with my right hand. So if I do a double, every single time you do a double with one hand, it's gonna free the other hand to go somewhere else. So that's a, a trick of you finding your arm coordination. Sometimes you learn a rhythm from a recording or from a video and you can't see it exactly, etc. You can come up with your own stuff, but always make sure that your coordination ends up comfortable to you. There is no written stone, written on the stone. The sand, I love the sand. I can't believe I'm teaching you on the sand. I, 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 you know, this is gonna show with the HD camera all my uh, uh, problemas, pero bueno, we keep on going. So here we go, one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two. That brought us all the way down to beat two on the second bar. One and two and three and four and one and two. Again, one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two. Let's move on. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And then I'm done. So what did I do there? After the three slaps, right, right, left. And here's the reason why I finish with my left. So I can go there with the open tone. And then I go right, left, right. That was right, left, right, open tones. So the whole cycle is going to be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Here comes the tricky part. You're going to start again on one on the open tone again. So at the tag end, it's going to show like you're doing three opens because in fact you are. You're going left, right, one. Left, right, one. So the first two opens that I had in here are one eighth note apart. E, e, but the last three are in quarter notes. E, e, e. So we hear this. Quick, slow, slow, slow. I can go at the end, I can actually start this rhythm with my right hand. This is not to confuse you, but just remember this is an intermediate rhythm. So this is not to confuse you, but just to let you know that when you have the capacity to start with this hand left or with this hand the right, it's going to open you up when you need to go here or even potentially to a fourth drum or even putting the one on the low drum. So with the right hand. So now I'm going to start the rhythm with the right hand. So at the end, out of the three opens, I go right, left, right, one. I repeat, right, right. Right. 
double, right? Right, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left. Now, in that section, I did a little variation and went like this. You hear that bass? So what it used to be, ah, 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 became this, ah, 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 ah. One. Uno. Okay. We're doing so good on this that I'm going to show you the first variation that I show students with this Mozambique and New York style is to put the one on the low drum. So now I'm going to go like this. And this is related to what I told you to double the right hand to start with one on the right hand. Okay, we started with one with the left, then I show you one with the right hand, and here is the application of it. So I can go right, left, right, one. So look how I'm doing. Left, right, left, quick slap there. Left, right, left, one. Left, right, left, one. Ooh, uh, ooh. Four and one. 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 Slow. put it open there. Mm -hmm. The next row open, right? Or this lap. Let's practice four times playing the Mozambique with the one on the high drum, whether with the left hand or with the right hand, it's up to you. And then four times playing with the low drum on one, and then you're gonna hear the difference melodically. So here we go, four and four. One, two, three, E, one. One. High. High. Low. to three drums. So now with using the technique of starting with the left, I'm going to start now here. And it's going to sound like this. Here's my one. very slow. One and two. It's exactly the same technique as it was here. One and two. Going into the low drum, but now I'm going one and two. One and two, right? I can also keep my hand there. Now, I'm not 
breaking this down for you because if you have this technique and you internalize the melody then you can just simply move one hand in here and experiment what happens between your three parts if you just simply keep the coordination going and you open up to the different drums without changing your pattern you will find a lot of very interesting melodic possibilities if you have the coordination solid if you just simply start changing sounds or putting different sounds in different drums so part of the richness of having the melodies around meaning and let alone having a, another another drum in front of you so um, closing this chapter of New York, Mozambique, because we need to move to Cuba. I'm going to play two drum Mozambique with the one here, two drum Mozambique with the one here, and then a three drum Mozambique with the one here, and then I may open up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So here we go. One, two, three, E. My one is on the high drum. One. who is right in front of me here wearing a beautiful wonderful mask he's telling me that we have a lot of material in this and we're gonna give you a, le a little extra bonus we're gonna make this into two videos the second one is gonna be the Cuban Mozambique honoring may he rest in peace Pedro Izquier Izquierdo Peyo El Afrocan better known as El Afrocan who also was a Babalao of the Centuria religion and so I say Ibae, Ibaen Tonu to him, which is the salute to uh, Babalao. So let's just do another video out of this. Uh, before I go out on this one, I want to give a big shout to all the students, everybody who's been supporting this, the people who've been taking classes with me online uh, from quite the most further places away. I got an email from somebody in the Arctic who works as a pilot, a rescue pilot in the Arctic. I can't imagine this guy in a little hut somewhere there studying these videos from me. And it made me feel so proud because, you know, I, I really, when I started with this, I couldn't even go to Cuba with a recording with cassettes because sometimes my teachers would say, you know what, no, no, don't, don't turn the cassette off. And here we are, the technology is taking this information to corners that we wouldn't imagine uh, 25 years ago or 30 years ago. So a big shout to Stilo, Stilo Clothing, who you know, makes these beautiful t-shirts. And uh, I want to help out my friends, especially in these uh, times of uh, dear need. Um, the makers of the percussion tutor application and the salsa rhythm application that I use sometimes in the videos, Latin Percussion, the company that I endorse, 
Um, and I also want to mention to you to please visit my website. I have CDs down there to uh, download and music to download. The, music, the, the website is musiccandela.com, musiccandela.com. It's probably right now in front of you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's probably somewhere in here. And also something new that we added, uh, you know, in lieu to the pandemic, etc., to help a little bit with the bills is that we put a, a little Venmo account, it's my Venmo account, edgardocambon at gmail.com. Of course, there is no obligation in this, but if you value these videos that you're getting at home, just by clicking a button, feel free to send something my way, and I appreciate it, and it will be, you know, very well uh, used <laughs> right now. So the Venmo, again, is edgardocambon at gmail.com. Stay in tune for the next video, which is going to be in Cuba, Mozambique.